Greetings. Thank you for visiting this listing. The item that we have to show you now is a very large and very heavy beautiful brass Japanese altar bell. This bell was uh, most likely used with a, a Buddhist temple and uh, would have included a, a, a cushion and striker. The bell itself, the cushion and striker are new, but the bell itself is uh, vintage. Let's talk a little bit about the bell first, and then we'll uh, discuss the rest of the uh, set here. This beautiful bell came to us alone. It didn't have uh, a cushion and striker, and uh, we were impressed with its uh, beautiful uh, condition. Uh, there's no serious damage. There's no cracks, uh, no large dents. Uh, the only damage are, is some wear, some uh, scratches and marks from handling and past use. None of these things affect the sound quality of the bell, and in fact, uh, I believe that they add to the... Uh, um, visual appearance of the bell. The uh, bell was hand hammered. You can see all of the uh, individual hammer marks all through here. And there's Japanese writing on the side of the bell that uh, further tells us that the bell was hand hammered. It's a very heavy bell weighing in at almost two pounds. To uh, receive the proper tone from a bell like this we need to uh, match it with an appropriate cushion and striker. And to do so, we uh, took this bell to our uh, local Japanese Buddhist altar goods store and uh, presented the bell to the owner and asked their help in uh, selecting the right items for the bell. The owner uh, told us that the bell is a very good quality bell and uh, he indicated that uh, an appropriate cushion should be uh, slightly larger than the bell itself. And with that in mind, this cushion was selected. The only uh, choice that I made was uh, the color. The owner made the choice as to the size. If, you see, if we place the bell upon the cushion, you can see that uh, there's a, a nice overlap there. And uh, this extra size on the cushion uh, provides some room for the base of the bell to fit into the cavity of the cushion here. And that helps to produce a, a better quality sound. The striker here is solid wood uh, with a uh, tanned skin cover on the end. And uh, like the cushion, this was selected by the owner of the store. After a trial and error testing various strikers out, uh, he determined that this one would yielded the best sound. So uh, speaking of sound, let's go ahead and hear the bell now and uh, enjoy the quality of the sound that it produces. Here we go. As you can hear, the bell has a, a very lovely tone and a resonance. Reverberation is quite nice. So if you're uh, in the market for a high quality Japanese uh, Buddhist altar bell of temple quality and size, then I uh, hope you'll consider this item. Please uh, drop us a line, send us an email, or even give us a call if you have any questions at all. We're always happy to hear from you. Thanks a lot for visiting this listing.